Hey everyone, it's your girl Johanna again for another car confessionals. Um, I'm doing a video shoot but I took some time out because I wanted to film this video and I'm trying to be more consistent when producing content and stuff like that. So I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, so these car confessionals are for me to tell you like a quick little story, something that I learned or something that I feel that might be useful to you that I found very useful to me. So I guess today's car confessional is going to be a little story time about how I got my first radio job. Now, um, I think I must have been, I was in college in my first like few semesters and I remember I was going to college. I was, I had theater training and then I had to go to work and then after work is when I would go do the radio show. But how did I get this radio show? I think in life it's important that you try to be prepared at all times and that you try and put yourself in a space where you're more prone to being at the right time at the right place with the right people and it goes for everything like if you want to be a doctor you know uh, hang around people who are doctors or hang around where they hang around if you're an actor study you know do extra work and or be in a city that they're filming stuff or you know those little things are really important because I mean you just never know when your time is and if you're smart about your moves and the way you move around in the world and you just have that in the back of your head it's really important so I was in Florida at the time going to college mind you this is my first radio job I had no idea what I just knew that I loved entertainment and I had you know theater experience I had acting experience but I never had hosting or talking and stuff like that so uh, I was at a Starbucks it was 9 o'clock at night 9 or 10 I was in my PJs my hair was a mess and this is why I say you know always be prepared and play your part you know if if you're someone in the entertainment business and you never know just look the part and but anyways so I was in Starbucks I was reading or studying for something and as I'm studying I'm hearing these two people have this conversation and I'm hearing them say in Spanish you know hey yeah we really need to find a, a, a this co-host you know she has to be young and hip that loves music uh, yada 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 just saying all these things that I was very interested in and and I immediately I immediately was just tuning into them and eavesdropping you know but I kept doubting myself I was like I don't look the part I I mean I'm a mess I'm not ready and I was like wow like I would really love that opportunity and I mean who that's like you know something's happening and you're placing it right there and it's right in front of your eyes and that's why you you have to make sure you grab those opportunities and just freaking kill it so I'm over here and I'm thinking wow this is the universe is so silly like I'm over here studying what I want to do in life and I hear an opportunity and I'm like fuck it I'm just gonna say something and I remember downing myself and about to go home because I'm like I'm not gonna present myself like this like I look a mess and I called my dad and I'm like dad like I'm overhearing this conversation and it's so weird and he's like Johanita he calls me that Johanita just go just present yourself fake it till you make it and let that happen like that opportunity is happening to you you're at the right place at the right time just figure it out so I'm there and I go up to them and you know I don't look the part but I'm gonna sound the part and I was like hi my name is Johanna Martinez I'm so sorry for eavesdropping into your conversation but I'm actually an actress and a model and I have experience hosting and on shows and they're like oh really and I'm like I'm so sorry to eavesdrop but I'm bilingual I, I do this this I love music this this and they immediately were just amazed with that I simply came up to these strangers I took this opportunity and right then and there they were like oh wow like you know for you to have the courage to stand up that means you're not shy you're able to move around like that and that's the kind of people we want you know that's awesome right then and there they were so interested in me and they saw the hunger in me that they're like listen we'll do a trial run but we're actually going to go to the station right now because they film a show the show at 11 12. it was a spanish small um local radio station ritmo 1340 i remember ritmo 1340 and um 
so they're like hey is it okay do you want to stop by with us i mean you can call your mom if you want you know sometimes you got to fill it out if it's sketch but i'm like hey i texted my mom mom i'm going to this place if you want to come you can come with me um if you feel comfortable but i feel comfortable she's like go with your gut you know if you feel it you feel it so i went with them they took me to the station they're showing me all these cool things and they're like do you know how to write um a segment and and how to dj and this and i'm like yeah 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 no no sabía ni un cu, how they say in Colombia. I didn't know but ass anything. But in my mind, like everything else in life, I'm going to teach myself. Like, I'll figure it out. So they gave me a week until we played and actually aired the first show. That first week, boo, I was studying. I was YouTubing. I was making sure that I knew and I wouldn't embarrass myself because that's something that I'm really big on. I, it's just a lot of pride but when it comes from my job I don't ever want to see like I'm unprofessional like I don't know what I'm doing and I made sure I studied that and I faked it till I make it and I think that I think that's a dope story because everybody always asks me how did you get your first uh, radio job like where did you interview where did you go like no it just happened that I was blessed to be at the right time at the right place and just accepting of those things to happen that it happened and when I heard this happening I said screw it and I'm gonna take this opportunity and go with it and ever since then you know I, I have that experience now you know ever since then I had my own podcast I was able to write the segments I was able to write the D like to DJ the music to play around a little I still don't know to the full T how to use the buttons but I know my way around it so that was my story i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys want to hear any other story or you like this little car confessionals thing um i just thought that story was very valuable and and it's good advice you know be prepared one thing is being at the right place at the right time but if you're not prepared and you don't know what you're talking about you either be gotta be really good at talking to people or don't even but that's that's my two cents on that and like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. Un besito, los quiero.